Oh, man. All right, bub, you want to get into go ahead. And however you want to go, you know, go ahead from start to finish. This is going to be, though, team, so everyone knows, trade station demo. So any questions you may have, hold off till the end, and we'll get to the slew of questions. But, AV, this is all you, boss. Roll into it. Roger, Dodger. Okay, so Trade Station is a fantastic platform. Um, I've used E Trade, I've used Trade Zero, I've used Lightspeed, I've used Robinhood. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Robinhood. Uh, everyone's kind of had that bad moment, I'm sure. But uh, hey, we've been there. I found Trade Station because my uh, my granddad, who uh, has traded for you know 30, 40 years, um, you know, when back when they had to look at newspapers, figure out stock prices, he. Uh, he turned me on to it and he said, you know, I've used this one for about 10 years. You know, it's fantastic. Customer support's great. You know, the platform is, you know, hands down one of the cleanest, um, you know, as far as like the, the, the looks, the capabilities, you can even plug in algorithmic, you know, trading for yourself. If that's something you want to do, like you can program the, the platform to trade for yourself. Like I don't, I don't, that's way beyond me. Uh, I can barely plug in a VCR still, but uh, <laughs> I really like it. I've been using it for about two years and, um, you know, there are several things about it that really make it unique and make it, um, very, very user-friendly. Um, and one of the first things I would mention is this thing called the order bar. Um, and as you can see, uh, this gray line is the current stock price. So it's going up and down, you know, 80 bucks, 80, 99, 80, 97, up and down. Um, I meant before, you know, if, if you had an interest in going long or shorting this stock, you know, you, you can you can look over at the chart, you know, you can find areas of uh, support and resistance um, and you can actually plug in like, you know, I, I see significant support, you know, at this level, and then you can plug in your orders and you can put a spread on it um, very quickly, very efficiently, and you can, uh, you know, get those limit orders filled, um, you know, exquisitely quick, um, you know, versus having to pull up, you know, a bar and manually enter the price that you want your limit order in and press OK and then go to a, another price and press OK. Like you can just legitimately click your uh, limit orders in and, you know, set it and forget it. And I call them kind of like landmines. As soon as the stock price falls down to where your limit order is, order uh, it gets filled just like that. And if it Order pops down fuel. a little bit more, I love more, that sound, man. <laughs> yeah, pops down a little more, it'll fill your next order. And, you know, you can just kind of like load the chamber on uh, these stocks. And this is cool because when those penny stocks spike up like crazy, you know, you, you're never going to get that perfect entry. You know where the support and resistance levels are. But, uh, you know, it's good to spread out. And, you know, sometimes I'll do a 10, 15 cent spread. Like I have here like 100 shares, I, I skip every penny. Um, you know, I'll do this for, you know, 10, 15, 20 cents. And then when these, these, uh, crazy movers spike up and hit my entry, you know, um, a lot of times it won't fill all of them, but it will get half of my orders filled and, you know, I'll have five, six, seven, 800 shares, you know, even if I had 2000 and, you know, I'm happy with that, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it helps you instantaneously average up or average down as the stock moves, which is pretty cool. So the ord bar is fantastic. And just as you can limit order in, you can also limit order out. So like if, if I think the stock's going to pop here, you know, I can take profit at these areas like this. So, um, you know, they talk about scaling in, scaling out. This is how I do it. You know, when I get those entries, um, you know, then I'll start plugging in profit targets. And, um, you know, I'll put the profit targets on the chart. And then as soon as uh, the stock pops up to those profit targets, Order rejected. Um, you know, it'll it'll close out those number of shares that I put in. So um, you, Order can, you can get in and out very quickly, very efficiently, very easy. And um, it's, uh, it's a very cool system, in my opinion. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is OCO orders. Uh, this is a pretty cool feature that uh, Trade Station has. And uh, all you have to do is go over to the right here where my mouse is, and you can select what type of OC order, OCO order one um, you would like to do. Um, and for this one, um, and I'll explain what this is just in a second, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a 10 cent or an 8 cent risk and a 10 cent hit. And what you can do is place an OCO order, and it will it will basically put a safety net on either side of your trade. So you have a profit target, and you have a, a safety net for risk. 
And, you know, if you're confident in your trade, I wouldn't suggest doing it this close to where your order entry is, but just for the sake of science, I'm showing you guys this OCO order basically puts a, a safety net at the bottom and a profit target at the top, and it will take you out on either one it hits first, which is cool because deck talks about the two to one risk to re uh, risk to reward ratio. You always want to have two to one reward um, over risk and you can put in your you know, your target and your risk threshold on any trade. And then as soon as you go into that trade, you can basically set it and forget it and kind of watch, you know, the movement based on, you know, what you're willing to risk and what you want to make. Um, so the OCO order seat feature is really, really cool. Um, and uh, I order fill. I find myself using that one from time to time as well. Um, there's also, you know, the ability to change your share size very quickly, you know, from 25 shares, 100, 200,000. So you can market order in very quickly if you want to do a thousand share market mm. order. And um, you know you can you can do those um, instantaneous orders as well. Um, so scaling is really cool um, with the order bar. Uh, the OCO is really cool. Um, there's also something called OSO orders, which, you know, are a little bit more complicated. I don't use them often, but if you're interested in that, it does have those as well. And you can do some research on OSO orders on your own, but uh, that's an, also another cool feature. Um, any questions on orders in the order bar before I move on to the next topic? Just throw that, in the chat. Say, is, that, Josh, is that what you typically, yeah. now, obviously, since you're going over, that's probably 90% plus you're primarily how you're putting your orders in and trading? I'd say a hundred percent to be awesome, honest. Yeah. Like I hardly, I hardly ever market order in, um, you know, the only times I do is when I see a stock that's just like exploding and I'm going to take a quick scalp and get in and get really quick. Um, that's the only time I ever market order. Um, just because I like to play the chess match against the stock. I like to figure out where it's going to bounce and place those landmines and spread them out. So, you know, the stock comes to me. I don't like to chase it. I like to, I like to play to come to me mm -hmm. and hit right where I want it and then take a bounce. So that's yeah, kind that's of my try, yeah, what every, I try to do. A lot of pre-markets why I say that. When you say these keywords, I always got to bring them back up. That's why I was saying pre-market. Wait for your plays or setups to come to you. When you do that, you're going to be so much more successful than you trying to get out there like with an AK-47, like I always say with an AK-47 and just trying to pl plow the place over. That's just not going to be uh, as successful. So real quick, we got we do have some questions. All right, so Abro says, have you ever used a yep. charting trading function for TradeStation? Seems like a cool option. Have you used a charting trading function, the chart trading function? Um, yes, I have used the chart trading function, and there are hotkeys associated with that. Um, and you can use either or. Um, I honestly, I've tried hotkeys. I think they're great for pre-market and aftermarket. Um, but with the limit order, limit order bar, I don't really need them. Right, um, exactly. That's why I wish I wish Lightspeed had something like that big time because that would help out Lightspeed, and I would not have to use hotkeys. I did. I did a demo on the intra chart trading, and um, you know, I just I didn't really care for it to be honest. And that's just personal preference. I mean. There's no silver bullet to this. All these companies are selling the same widgets. It's really just finding the one that works best for you. And for me, TradeStation works the best. So that's yeah. why I've stuck with them. Um, you know, the smoothness, the ability to manipulate charting uh, and read it and stare at it all day and have it not burn holes in the back of your head is very important to me. So it's a comfortable platform to look at. It's clean, it's concise, it's easy to draw lines, see breakouts, look at different time frames, identify patterns, um, and look for the things that I look for on a daily basis. And that's why I like it. Paul, um, says, the and only you, you, fee- Oh, there's a like hotkey, so the you only can't fee, add them though? What's that? You can add the hotkeys? Yes, you can. You can add hotkeys. Cool. And Paula said, is that what it's um, called? I don't, a matrix. I just want to make sure that, that she, that was because why we're still talking about hotkeys. I want to make sure that I, did, I didn't know if there were, how you, if you knew how to put them in and where, where that was at. Um, to do hotkeys, I believe you go up to this chart trading thing. Um, and then, uh, and, and I haven't done this in months just because I haven't had to, uh, but once this enable keyboard trading button is clicked, um, you should be able to use your preset hotkeys to make those trades from your keyboard. Um, 
So it says click chart to activate keyboard trading. And right now my keyboard trading is activated. Um, I don't even remember what my hotkeys were because I haven't <laughs> used them in so long, but I do have some preset in there and that's how you do it. Um, and there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to set up your own um, uh, hotkeys and you know customize the board the way you want it. Um, and they're easy to find. That's another cool thing about TradeStation. Uh, it's been around for so long that you know there's tons of instructional content. Um, they update it very frequently, but the overall like look of it is kind of like Google. Like it hasn't really changed that much over the time that they've had the platform. Um, right, it's yeah. just really good and clean. They haven't had to. But um, you know, from a dashboard standpoint, everything is manipulated um, to your own customization based on how you want it. You know, you can have as many little, you know, tickers up on the screen as you want. Um, you can put any lines in on any one based on what you want to see. You can add in as many charts uh, as you want. Um, you know, there's even, uh, and I'm going to bring another screen over to my background here. Uh, this is my second desktop. So you can have multiple desktops. I have three of them with, with TradeStation. Two of them are for monitoring and one of them is for trading. So this one on my other computer and they even have, um, you know, the top gainers, everything that's moving. And there's also a feature that's free with uh, major press releases. So, um, you know, like this one just came out, CryptoPunk sold for 84,000 on Ethereum. Like, I don't really care about that. But anyways, these, these are the news releases that you get through TradeStation, which are free. Um, the only thing that I pay for on TradeStation, I'm going to move this off my chart real quick. The only thing that I pay for is level two. Um, and it's 25 bucks a month. And that's the only fee there is. There's no commissions for trading. There's no, um, you know, there's no borrow fees for shorting. Um, there's, there's nothing other than level two, 25 bucks a month. And if you don't like or don't have any interest in level two, another cool thing about it is if you look at this trade bar over here, it gives you kind of like a level two light or like a, a beginner's level two, where you can see like orders of other people on this trade bar that give you an indication. And then also this over here is volume. So you can see which uh, areas on the chart were high demand or supply zones based on volume. So obviously if the stock's down in this area, you see low volume you know that there's not going to be much demand, but over in this area where there was high volume, there's a high probability of a potential bounce. And that's probably why it's been hovering in this area around this line for so long. So uh, also time and sales is included in the level two data. So that's uh, part of the $25 per month that I pay. So it's, it's pretty, pretty low considering, you know, light speed is like a second mortgage if you're making money on it. <laughs> All right, I think uh, yeah, I think you're good to move on to the next next round right here, boss. Cool. Um, next thing I was going to talk about is studies, and uh, I'm going to clean up this chart a little bit just so you guys can uh, see what I'm doing a little better. But um, from a drawing standpoint, um, there's so many different things you can put in. Um, you know, there's Fibonacci cycles, there's arcs, there's, you know, retracement calculators. I don't use any of this garbage. I think it's all just, you know, too much. Uh, I'm successful in what I do. I don't need to use it. But a lot of people find very good success in utilizing these tools. I don't even know what Andrew's pitch fork is. But to put a study on the chart, you basically click right on your mouse. You go into add study. And then they have all of these pre-programmed components that you can utilize um, on your chart. Let's see if it run so slow. I'm sorry, guys. Real quickly, I don't, I don't see it on there. Does the level two have a LULD, the, the limit up, limit down? That is one thing that I am a little bit uh, taken aback by. They do not have LULD on the level two. Gotcha. Um, but typically... For my trading style, I'm I'm not typically chasing after ones that are, 
you know, get on, gonna get halted anyway. Right, exactly, I'm yeah, yeah. Short exactly. Them. I'm right there with you. Yeah. Oh, so one thing not, short like, yeah, it's one of the ones I tell a lot of streamers. I always ask about that. I'm like, it's really only we probably you think about day in day out and how often I'm using it. I I might use it throughout the whole entire year, five percent of the. You know what I mean? It's not very often. I'm I'm really. I mean, 2020, 2021. You know what I mean? There are times where I'm different, but for the most part, you know, average time, you're not really you know worrying about the the, the halting essentially that much. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I, I showed you the studies, um, you know, you can click any study you want, you know, there's like RSI psychological line. I don't know what that is, but there's like 500 of these things and you can research them and see which ones you like and put down your chart accordingly. Um, another cool thing about, um, the ease of use in this is, you know, if, if you want to put a moving average on your chart, um, you can throw it up there. And then you can edit it any way you want. So like this one, for example, if I wanted to, oh, that's VWAP, let's see. If I wanted to edit this moving average, um, you know, all I have to do is go to input. Okay, this is a 50 day moving average. I could change it to 20 days and then uh, okay it. And then you'll see that line move um, down to the 20 day period. So like you can edit these lines, you can put them in however you want um, and you can, you can add in multiple ones. There's all the widgets and, you know, things that most uh, trading softwares have. But um, studies are really cool. Um, it's an easy way to, you know, implicate or um, initiate, you know, indicators on your chart that, uh, you know, could be useful to you trading. Yeah, it reminds um, me, honestly, it's like really easy to change. Lot, I was going to say, sorry, sorry, it reminds me a lot of Thinkorswim. It really looks, it's beautiful. Um, a lot of the things you can do, how easy it is, and the way it, it lo in the way it honestly just looks overall, it looks it's gorgeous. So I, I mean, that's why I can see why I and I did I haven't gone to using it because I'm trying. I'm just been still before I you know moved over because I was still thinking I was maybe thinking about leaving you know Think or Swim for Trade Station in the end just because it's the same thing. It's just a newer platform, so I'm trying to and it's just hard for me because I love, but it's it's almost identical. So that's why I tell a lot of traders. I mean, it's there's really not not too much differences between the two. You're getting pretty much the same thing overall is when it comes to your, you know, ease of chart setup and, and setting things up and, you know, adjusting them. Um, you know, it's called like the ladder system, whatever on think or swim, but yeah, there, I like the, the one thing I do like more, the level two is way prettier, uh, over, over on trade station than it is on think or swim. Think or swim is tra tra uh, level two is trash. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's all customizable too, depending on what colors you want. You can right, change yeah, see, like that's the, awesome. you know, the level of two, three, four colors based on what you want to see. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it is nice. It's pretty, it's clean. And I can stare at it for nine hours and not have a headache, which is important to me. Yeah. Um, exactly. you know, you can, you can change the charts however you want them. You can make, you know, uh, as many desktops as you want. If you got six screens, you know, throw up six desktops, have six different things moving on each one. It's, it's your prerogative, you know, whatever is your priority. Um, but you know, if you wanted to locate shorts, it, it's as easy as going to, and this is the, uh, this is the simulator. So you're not going to be able to see it like really happen, but you go to, uh, you go to your short locate, which is going to be, um, in this bar here and it's not on the simulator because uh shorting on a simulator isn't you know you don't need to locate them but uh you just go to your short locate list you click short locate you put in your requests and um you know uh it's as easy as you know clicking the con confirm button and then you get you know whatever shares are available um and i will say that probably if you're looking to short a day top mover on trade station um, you know, you might not get a short, uh, you might not get any shares, but if you, you know, don't get those shares, then just move on to the next play because there's probably going to be 25 other ones, you know, um, you know, I don't really have any issues and I'm a short bias trader and, you know, 70% of my wins are short plays. And, um, you know, I use this platform. So people ask me like, oh, well, you can't get shares for anything. It's like, yeah, you might not be able to get shares for one or two tickers, you know, throughout your day, maybe three or four, depending on, you know, what the liquidity is and the volume and, you know, all the different components and variables that go into that stock. But, you know, I, obviously it's working for me and I, I short, you know, 70, 80 percent of the time, you know, so, um, you know, I like it. it I have no problems there. Is there any, I would say, 
for you when you first started using this because that just a good question maybe for chat just and for anyone out there this would might this would be my question like when you first started using this was there anything that you did run into that was a struggle that you had to figure out that oh yeah traders may run into this and this may be a little bit or was it i mean i get my point it may be just as simple as can be I, there may be there may not have been anything i just don't there's anything out there that when you first started using this uh that you had to figure out that was a little bit of a struggle and then you figured it out it took you maybe five ten minutes or something yeah, this is a learning curve. Just like any platform, it's going to take you a few weeks. I would suggest, you know, paper trading until you really know what you're doing, um, especially if you're going to be using the order bar, because it, it, there is a learning curve to utilizing this order bar. And you have to kind of, you know, figure out how to manipulate, um, you know, the, the, the screen just to make sure you get the orders placed where you want. Um, and it does tick back to where the stock price is. Price is. So sometimes you can like scroll way down and you're starting to put orders in and you check your chart and it goes right back to where the stock was and then you put your order in and it's the wrong spot like you got to be cognizant of those kinds of things before you go in with real money so those are just kind of the things that you need to look into also like utilizing this took me this took me like three weeks to figure out like i couldn't figure out like how do i get how do i get this chart to like compress all right gotcha, well, all yeah. you have to do is click <laughs> gotcha, over on the right yeah. drag it up and down like that took me three weeks to figure out. So there's just little nuances that like, you know, they're not necessarily in the handbook that you'll just kind of pick up just by like messing around with right. the platform, the software. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. If you guys run into like big problems or small, like, um, you know, they're probably easily resolved. Look at AMD. It's already a buck, a buck, uh, in the money from my, my yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, that nice little that W trade. at the bottom there. Uh, is trade station paper trading live or delayed um, Stepman ask? It is real time paper trading. Um, it does not offer pre market or post market paper trading, but from 9 30 a.m. Eastern time to 4 p.m. Eastern time, you can paper trade and it is real time. Any last questions? You know, if Alex, anything else you can think you want to go over, anything else you want to say, thank you again, honestly, though, for coming over, AV. But any last questions you guys have for me? We've gone, I know, for about an hour now. So any last questions you have? Thanks again for going over yeah. these setups and strategies. Of course, the trade station demos, whether it's, it's stock trading related, it's trade station related team. Um, that and definitely give a big AV a big round of applause before he heads out today. So I appreciate it, boss, for sure, for coming on over. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm here to help. So if you guys ever need any help, if you decide to switch this platform, have questions for me, just fire them off. I'm, I'm around every day. So hey, and Uncle, Uncle Mark showing up in and, chat, uh, too. I saw AK. that. Uncle Mark, yeah, he made a name for himself down in Florida. Oh, uh, man, really good times, crazy. my friend. Those I, good uh, times. I love and respect him very much. And just for the record, he is my uncle. So uh, uh, even though he's unanimously known within chat as Uncle Mark, you know, we have some blood. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. But uh, yeah, AK, thank you very much, Josh, for having me here. Uh, it's good to be back. And uh, I hope you guys, you know, have a profitable year and, uh, you know, stick with it. You know, trading's hard. 90% uh, of people fail because they give up. You know, but if you keep pushing and, you know, you size down and you try 20 trades with one share, um, you know, try a new strategy. If that doesn't work, 20 trades with one share, if that strategy doesn't work, go do another one. You know, figure out top two strategies for you, figure out what you're good at, and then look for the alerts that coincide with the setups that you want and make those trades and have confidence. And that's what's going to push you to the goal line. That's going to make you a successful mm -hmm. trader. So uh, keep at it and rock on. Yep, man, I appreciate it, Bob. And Melo asks, uh, how long you been trading for? Uh, about two years. So there you go, team. Look at that. Two years. Look at the figure. I feel like we were just a baby. You were just a widow baby. And look at you, you're a full-grown man over there with a beard. And what's going on? How did this happen so fast? <laughs> <laughs> but as you can tell, everyone loves I thought about so much. shaving the thought about shaving uh, everything but the stash just to like dude we should do we should call it stash july or something i'm telling you everyone in chat starts growing them or if you don't have or if you have it already like you got to shave the whole beard just you can do a good you can do a, a an amazing handlebars are you kidding me like that would look super amazing man yeah i think My that's about it i think that's everything shirt. else i think we're good to go and yes i have one last question i didn't see d Charlie. yes this is being recorded so i have it recorded I'll, I'll split it up into two though so what i'll do too just so you know alex i'll have the interview round two part and then i'll have inter two, interview round two part two uh essentially with tr so the trade station demo will kind of be separate from you know your strategies and setups and stuff like that so i'll have you'll have two videos baby boy Perfect. Sounds good, man. Appreciate your time today. No, I think that's it. Yeah, no, thank you, dude. Seriously, again, thank you so much. I think we're done. I was just making sure we were done with questions. I think we are. 
And obviously, anytime you, they have a question, like he was saying, anytime you have questions for Alex, hit him up in chat. Um, he's here. For, like I said, that's what we're kind of all here for. And I'm glad we have, like, again, I'm glad you stayed around and, uh, and, and traders that, that you that do get good stick around uh, to not only uh, you know, obviously be successful and a part of a great chat room, but then to help other traders. And that's what I love to see. So, yeah, anytime you all need Alex, just hit him up in chat. And again, no, seriously, man, thank you so much for being here again. Seriously, it was amazing. Thanks, man. Yep. Appreciate Have a good you. rest of your day, boss. I'll text you here in a little bit with the links after I get those up as well. All right. Have a good Later. one, bub. Peace out.